Hello everyone and welcome to this edition of Race Face Driver Updates. I'm Brittany Lung. There was plenty of action last week for Team Race Face, competing in both open wheel and stock cars from the East Coast to the West Coast. So let's start by checking in first on our Race Face drivers. Sam Mayer qualified second and finished fifth on Saturday in the NASCAR k and Pro Series East Apple Barrel 125 at New Hampshire Motor Speedway. Sam continues to lead the points championship with only one race left at Dover International Speedway on October 4th. Sam will also compete in the ARCA Racing Series on October 5th at Lucas Oil Raceway in Indianapolis. Jesse Love was back at Jacksonville Speedway for the Power Eye National Midget League, where he brought home a fifth place finish in his 97K KKM Toyota. Up next for Jesse, SRL Southwest Late Model Tour at Madeira Speedway on September 28th. Joey E set a new track record in qualifying at Madeira Speedway in the 5150 Junior Late Model Series, and then backed it up by parking his number 88 Nate Clower Chevrolet in Victory Lane. That's four wins in a row in the fifth of the season in eight starts. Joey has not finished outside the top three all year. Joey extended his point lead with only one race remaining, and that's championship weekend at Madeira Speedway on October 5th. Joey will also run the Nut Up Pro Late Model Race on the same night. Now let's switch gears and see what the race face next drivers were up to. William Cox was at Carteret County Speedway in his number 29 Farbo Motorsports NX Legend car, where he qualified second in a combined field that included Young Lions and Semi-Pro, and raced his way to a third place finish overall in second in the Young Lions division. Up next for Will, Wake County Speedway on September 27th. Jake Bowman qualified fourth and then brought home a fifth place finish at Madeira Speedway in round eight of the MAV TV 5150 Junior Late Model Series. That's seven top 10 finishes in eight starts. Up next for Jake, championship weekend at Madeira Speedway on October 5th. Bryce Bazanson was at Wenatchee Valley Super Oval for the first time in his CrowdStrike Friends of Jacqueline Super Late Model, where he qualified 10th and then brought home another top 10 finish in 9th place. Up next for Bryce, the Yakima Speedway Fall Classic on October 4th through the 6th. Haley Constance was at Plaza Park Speedway in her Joe's Racing 600 Micro Sprint on Saturday, where she qualified 24th. Haley entered her heat race knowing that she was having engine issues, but still managed an eighth place finish. Matt put her in the B main where she finished ninth. Up next for Haley, micro sprints this Friday at Deming Speedway. Race face drivers that didn't see action this week, but will be back on the track next week, include Cassidy Hines, Kobe Sokol, and Justice Sokol, who will all be racing 600 micro sprints at El Paso County Speedway on September 28th. That's it for this week's Race Face Driver Updates. And remember, if you've missed any of our shows, you can get caught up at raceface.tv on demand. Don't miss Race Face Spotlight on Thursdays at 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, this week featuring NASCAR Wheelin' All-American Series driver Bryce Bazanson. As always, we encourage you to support local racing in your communities. Don't forget to follow us on social media. We will be back with you next week with more from your favorite Race Face drivers. So get out there, have a great race week. I'm Brittany Lung, and thanks for watching.